Would you like to meet my dragon before we go to work? Come on. Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today we're headed to my work. I have two little nano takes I wanted to show off and get your opinion on something. Oh, I almost forgot. Her name is Sheila. No, I'm not gonna do a video on her yet. I just wanted you to see her. Oh. <laughs> so even though I am in front of a 40 breeder, it's not the normal 40 breeder for Susie Q, is it? Well, Sheila and I are gonna hang out though. She's a five-year-old rescue and the video's not about her, but. Let's head over to work. So here I'm at work with a little, I think it's like a three gallon little nano cube. Love this cube. I had a couple guppies in here going. They had some fry hiding in. She had a couple batches of fry. And then the last time she had fry, she just passed away. Poor little thing. So now that there's like four or five fry, I wanted to upgrade and get a little bit bigger tank. So I got a little five gallon tank and I'll show you that in a minute. But my coworkers at work want something different than guppies. So then I thought to myself, okay, it's really not that small. Maybe I'll just have two tanks instead of one. Not yet. So I moved this one in my room and started cycling the other tank. So this one, this little cube, which I love, has two or three crypts in it. It's got a lot of Anubius Nana Petite sitting inside the spider wood. Um, we got some Java moss that I put in here so that the fry could hide. All these inspirational rocks that we used in training a couple years ago. Yeah, and I got my pothos grown up to help with the filtration. I do manual water changes. I did a whole video on it um, yesterday. Four minute video that took about six hours to edit. And then I deleted it by accident. The pain, the anger, the heartache. I went through like a, and then I just went to bed. I ended my day and said, <laughs> Let's do this again. So I'm not going to show you the water change, but I just put a little quarter inch tube in here, drain the water into a watering can and water all the plants. And I'll show you all the plants. But I love this little tank. This guy's at work. That's the perfect size. For a little tank, I sit behind my desk and when it gets a little too stressful, I just take a look over here and all is well. Let me show you some of the plants that I water it with and take you out to the newer one. So these plants get watered. The brand yeah these plants get watered this is part of my filtration this one absolutely loves the fish water so I like that so <laughs> don't look at my messy office I'll probably edit that out so now I go out to the newer tank there this is a really cute little five gallon I got some java fern in here. I put some plastic plants while this is growing. A sword plant right in the middle that I hope takes off. In the corner it said water wisteria. That doesn't look like any kind of water wisteria I ever had, so I can only guess either it's not that or it's emerged growth and it will be become what I know of it. And then I got some stem plants. I forget what they're called. I'm not sure if they're high grow. But and the CEO of the company really likes turtles, so I made sure I put a turtle in here. This tank has been cycling. I add a little, a bit of ammonia to it. I've added a little bit of food to it, keep it going. This is my little cabinet that I keep everything in that I need for work. So, now I'm sitting here. I need some suggestions. What are we gonna stock it with? People here at work want something with a personality. They don't want a guppy. They were thinking about several different betta fish, but I don't think the tank is big enough for a sorority. So I will love any suggestions that you have. I think a pea puffer, but it's only a five gallon, gallon tank. What am I gonna get, like one pea puffer? So if you can give me some suggestions, we can put a heater back here in the back if we need to. If not, it's just room temperature. It stays about 65, 75 in here. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.